What's up guys? It's getting closer. We are looking at an exit. Today is uh, Thursday, day before Veterans Day. And next Tuesday is Missouri, so we're getting ready to go. I'm, I'm always late to get started. I, I always uh, say that I, when I put my traps away, they work. I pull them out of the ground. You put them in the corner, you put them in a barrel, whatever. I always say they work. They'll work the next year. So basically, earth anchors, I'm going to, I got them, I'm loading them up. I'm going to power wash them. And then we're going to wax them. That's how we're rolling this year. We're going to, we're going to put a coat of wax on them and then move on. But I want to show you guys something here. Hang on. Got some new ones. Uh, I think these were probably April. I was getting a different trap like every every month from Blakely's. So I got an assortment of shit back here that I'm trying to go through. <laughs> kind of uh, not get them all done per se. I'm getting a probably eight dozen or so ready, so we can just focus on cats. But these are Duke six fifties. Um, I wanted to show you guys. It's pretty pretty simple to adjust these. You basically for pan height, you just bend this guy right here, back and forth. I got people asking me for, you know, these kind of questions. Forward or backwards. So basically, if you need the pan, <laughs> I got to think about it now. That it's easier just to do it. So you want to go back to raise the pan up. You bend this guy farther away from the pan, and it will raise your pan height up. If you need the pan down, you just small bends. Don't take much. Just pair of pliers, a little bit of a bend, and you're good to go. Other than that, you you put your um, name tag wherever you're, you want to put it. I usually just go somewhere right in here. I use earth anchors. Put them on here. Ready to go. So, I'm going to show you guys. Got a mail call. I'm probably using the wrong hand here. Bill sent me some stuff. Beautiful. Just like Christmas morning. Pull them out of the box. Look them over. Looks beautiful. You'll come over here to your workbench. Open it up. Set it. See where your pan is and adjust accordingly. That's all you do. Put your uh, earth anchor on, power wash them, boil the oil off, wax them, or how I wouldn't even worry about dyeing them. I usually just, I either uh, use dip like last year or I'm going wax. This year I'm going wax. Sometimes I full metal jacket. I didn't get my order of full metal jacket. It's too late. It won't be here in time. We're going to go to Bass Pro in the morning, and we're going to pick up some wax, and we're going to roll with wax. So it's perfectly fine. We're going to catch no matter what. So these are Duke 650s. I also run 550s. I don't have any brand new 550s to show you guys. They're all dyed and ready to go from last year. I do have logwood that I can run for, that I keep just in case I want to run on some that are got a decent amount of rust, but other than that, I usually don't worry about it. We'll let them get rusted out there in the field. Right on the packing. Oh, come on. Why you gotta do it to me when I'm one-handed? Get it. And then I got these bad boys. Again, these are Duke these are Duke DPs, basically ready to go out the box. Get you, get you a 24-inch uh, uh, piece of rebar. I don't use wire, but I have wired them. Or you can uh, use some cable, make your loops, and go through around a tree. I've showed you guys that. I'll show that once we start trapping. Or you can just put your earth anchor on there make it simple throw them in put some bait of your choice in there and you're good to go we got assortment here it's beautiful they look so beautiful brown 
I asked, I, uh, I told him it would be cool if we had some white. You can paint them white if you want white, but we're just going to leave them brown and roll with it. I do have some that are painted white, so, all right, stay tuned. I guess, I guess basically where I'm trying to go with this season is just keep it simple. You don't have to overthink it. Fur prices are, are low. Don't expect to get rich. If, if you want to, you're going to make, you'll make money. But you gotta, you're gonna have to up your numbers and start catching a bunch of critters. I just don't want messages saying, God, my raccoon maybe brought two to five dollars. It's it's not good. So, but it's fun. Get you outside and you can see you you see all these big old bucks that you never see. You're like, man, I just drove a four right past a big old herd of deer. So it's it's awesome out there. So I want to show you guys the stuff in the truck here. It's kind of dark. It's kind of dark. See, I have some from late last year when I was tra trapping Flair's Ranch. that are ready to go already. I will just power wash them, dip them, and we're going. We're going to wax them and go. So I'm, uh, I'm just kind of getting stuff ready. I like to power wash the dust and stuff off them, and then, then we'll, we'll wax them. Same way if it's full metal jacket or any dip. Just It's nice to just get it clean because they got, they got a little bit of grass that it's going to blow out power wash it off of there if not i'll have to pick it all out of there but or we'll just wax it just like so simple once you get them tuned you really don't have to mess with them now i do have duke, duke number two dogless is different they have a nut right there we're outside and it's dark there's a nut here you adjust but you <laughs> whether it be duke or bridger or any trap that has this, uh, even K9 Extremes, has this nut to adjust your pan height. Usually once you get that sucker set, you never have to adjust your pan. Almost never. I mean, I got traps that I've never even messed with. It doesn't matter. That that screw or that bolt will lock down and it. I don't have to adjust them near as much as I would any other trap that has just a regular, just the regular dog like this and then the plate so just uh, show you guys an idea and here, here's a 550 that's similar to the is 650 same way to adjust it this is just a two coil the uh, 650s are four coil see it's got it's getting closer and closer to being able to hold that die but we don't worry about it they're underground that's where the wax comes in. I, th I think wax or a full metal jacket makes a big difference in my catches. So I use either one of them. Wax is way cheaper. It's like five bucks a, for a bar. I'll show you guys the little bit of the waxing. All right, simple video. I just happened to be out here getting stuff ready. I wanted to show you guys some of the, some of the traps, the process. Everybody's like, what do you do with your brand new traps? I just power wash the oil off or I have thrown them in the dishwasher. Or if you have a turkey fryer that you want to turn into just sole, just take your turkey fryer and say it's not going to cook turkeys or go buy a brand new one. Like tomorrow, I'm going to go to Menards and buy a brand new turkey fryer. I think it's like 60 bucks. Turn that into your, your, your boiling pot. Do a few traps at a time. Works perfect. You can just set it right here in the doorway and have a good, and just have a few beers and, and boil traps. But you be careful when you're waxing. You'll be like a turkey dropping it in the grease. You'll be... You'll be cooking. <laughs> so, I got one more thing. Baits and lures on sale. Whoop. That's old fuck right there. So, that get, that's why I got to get my, uh, that's why I got to get the traps out of here. So, they're pretty rank right now. So, on sale through Veterans Day. So, probably Saturday. Um, hashtag Veterans, 20% off. That's 20, 15% off. 15% off. And then I'm going to do Black Friday. On sale. I'm on my website, I'll put it in the description. But I'm gonna get these guys all loaded up. We're gonna get them, these guys gotta be adjusted. And then we're gonna power wash and then I'll show you guys waxing in the next video. Stay tuned. Quick note, just in case I didn't say it. I ain't even gonna go back and look at the footage. These guys do not have to be washed. They don't have to be dipped. They just need to have a, an anchor of some sort, some bait and go. You don't have to wash them. These are brand new out of the box. Even even your other dog proofs don't have to be sent free or nothing. Just just go put your your bait of choice in there and go. Thanks, guys.